Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Zander. Uh, I'm currently based in sunny London. Last 10 years I've been designing digital products based mainly remotely around the world. My name is uh, Kevin Cadena. Um, I'm a designer, web developer, and educator based here in New York City. I'm excited to research what current bookstores uh, look like online, I guess, from their web, web design perspective. So hopefully we can nudge it up a little bit in terms of the quality. The first thing that I would start out with doing is I would build out a production document. I would also link to whatever the publishing information is to the new website here. So GitHub repository, the design, domain providers. So the first step that we are jumping into is Figma. You can do everything from research to the final high fidelity designs and animation and prototypings. As a front end web developer, I'm extremely into flat file content management systems. It's a CMS that doesn't require any sort of back end server to be created. Being in front of a computer all day and sometimes not even being able to tell the time, stepping out is a nice way to reorient and ground myself in the world around me. For me, I start and end my day by cleaning my desk. It is the bookmark to my daily design practice. Yeah, to start off with, essentially what I went through was gathering a load of existing sites. So these were either bookstores, they were magazine stores. We've got our text colors and really nice tone and shade ranges so that we can create hierarchy within the design. So I thought it'd be really exciting within the site to basically add this opportunity to color filter for each book. Here what we've created is our different states, so when the button's active, focused, or disabled. I'll start first by creating a re repository. Creating some sort of version controlling software or using that within your process is extremely, extremely important. The main folders that we'll be working in include the assets folder. This will host any sort of CSS, uh, site-wide imagery, and JavaScript that will be used on the site. There'll be the content folder that while we're not editing directly is where we'll be plugging in content through the back end. And then we'll spend most of our time in the site folder. Once we have all this set up, we can actually open up our code editor of choice. And from here, we can start coding. I think that your workflow is super, super efficient and extremely, extremely well thought out and super considered. Thanks, yeah. You definitely captured that independent um, branding straight through the, the design and development. And the final touch of those interactions and animations, I think, is so exciting. Preparation is key, right? The better that you set your boundaries and your guidelines when you start coding, the more likely is that the code is going to be structured cleanly and that the problems that you are having when you code are problems that everyone has had. Community is brilliant because a lot of the time as designers, we're putting ourselves out there, so we've got to be really vulnerable. And the more you embed yourself in a community, you you know find trust in other designers. Yeah, it's been awesome to get to know you, Xander. Yeah, you too, exactly. We're going to collab in the future. <laughs>